Hello, I'm John Tucker from Tailgate Insurance. So Hugo, tell us about, a bit about the training required for uses of ribs. Well, training is essential, though I have to say in this particular country, it's not mandatory. The RYA, the Royal Yachting Association, which is the recognised governing body to oversee uh, uh, yachting rules and regulation and powerboat racing, etc., <clears throat> have devised a series of courses. The most basic one really being the RYA Powerboat Level 2. It's considered to be the recognised sort of basic requirement that, that boaters should have if they're new to boating especially and it really is advisable to, to do that because it gives you um, a basic grounding in terms of the various features of the boat, its equipment, um, rules of the road or um, how to behave on the water and uh, just a, a general sort of overview of the, the marine environment really in which you're going to be um, playing or operating within. It's not an advanced course by any means and people should not feel you know, when they have their R RYA powerboat level 2 that uh, they know all there is to know. That would be dangerous because when you're going out to sea and you're in that more offshore type of environment, yes of course what you've learnt on that course is going to be of use to you, i.e. how to, 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 to work a radio, how to, to operate the, the, the basic functions of equipment on board, but really um, uh, in terms of um, more advanced navigation, sea sense, etc., that really comes about through experience or going or taking more advanced courses. Um, so coupled to um, that RYA Powerboat Level 2 really needs to be a sensible approach to use of boats on the water. Common sense really reigns at sea. Um, and the more experience that you can gain by going out in um, conditions and in locations that, you're, that, that you feel reasonably safe within, that you know to a sensible degree, um, that type of environment is going to help you broaden your horizons, get to know your boat, get to know what the different types of sea states and wave types are going to, how they're going to affect your boat, how you're going to drive your boat in those conditions, all those things are going to gradually broaden your experience. So progressively then, you really want to be adding to your bag of experience, built upon some sort of um, uh, foundation such as the RYA can provide. I think it's worth mentioning also the fact that um, it's going to be important for somebody on the boat at least to, to hold a current VHF um, marine radio licence. Somebody on the boat needs to be able to operate that, that piece of equipment, um, whether it's just to communicate with uh, harbour authorities or other vessels, or whether, more importantly, it's to, to call for assistance. Um, also, the need to, to learn how to use a, a, a sea chart, which is a a map essentially, but that's going to, to show you the safe regions in which to go boating, it's going to help you to be able to navigate safely at sea coupled to the equipment that you already already carry on the boat, so that's a good practical thing to, to develop your skills in that regard. And Hugo, is there any specific publications that are relevant to rib use? Certainly, there are really good cruising guides that you can get in any um, uh, maritime bookshop or chandlery. Um, if you're wanting to build up your knowledge of, of uh, boating and where to go boating and how to go to boating, then there are some very good specialist magazines that you can buy in the news agents. Um, but also, every man mariner should have a copy of his own almanac, which is really the Bible of the sea. It contains all the reference information on navigation, um, uh, port uh, information, um, it carries first aid information, how to, to, to make a distress call, all sorts of things. It's a great reference book. It comes out on an annual basis and um, you should carry one of those and get familiar with its contents. It's going to be a real friend to you, um, not only at sea, but in terms of planning your trips before you venture out. So, again, common sense. Um, never be afraid to ask questions. Always be of the mind to, to add to your bag of experience. And if you do so, boating can be really, really re rewarding and enjoyable pastime. And my way of thinking, there are few better ways of going to sea than in a rib. Fantastic boats allow you to do so much. 
and um, I'd hardly recommend it. As I'm from Tower Gate Insurance, I'm going to be biased, but as a regular RIB user, what do you look for as far as insurance is concerned? Well, I'd like to start by saying insurance is absolutely essential. I mean, nobody should should um, set foot on the water without being properly insured, um, because even if you're not concerned about the loss of your your, your boat or its engine or equipment or whatever, um, you surely have to be um, uh, concerned about other um, water users, and you need to be co covered from a public liability uh, point of view as well as personal accident, loss, etc. So it really is essential to be insured. <clears throat> but in my experience over 25 years, and again getting calls to uh, uh, Rib Magazine asking for our advice uh, virtually every week of, uh, of the year about this matter, I encourage people to um, uh, research companies who have experience with this kind of boating. Now there are, there are many insurance, marine, marine insurance companies out there but not all have experience with regard to uh, ribs and their use. <clears throat> and so, bearing in mind that um, uh, these are generally s small boats or relatively small boats, they can be taken abroad, crossing the channel, up around the Hebrides or wherever it may be, um, you need to be able to speak to an insurer who will understand that these, these boats can and probably will be used just not in inshore waters but offshore waters and possibly when you become uh, uh, more adept and experienced um, going to foreign lands as well. Uh, if you speak to somebody who knows this type of boating they will understand that, will, they will insure you properly and for the right sums. Um, so insurance is absolutely vital but speak to somebody who has that experience. Thank you Hugo, I'm sure our viewers will find the information and advice very useful. Not at all, it's been a real pleasure, thank you.